What's up, guys? It's your boy, Chancey Gaming here, back with more Jump Set. Third game of Mystery Mountain, it's episode 37. Now let's grab our final two mission clues and get this next mission done. Stand back now while I sense the place out. Huh, I'm getting a strong clue reading in the observatory. Cool, I sensed another clue in the robot maze. Yeah, any idiot could see that there's two clues in the same plot in the floor because there's only one clue on the last two floors. Let's hit the robot maze first. Hmm, we're back at the maze again. See the box hmm. down there? Maybe Polly has put something in there again. This one looks tricky. You're so right, Botley. And this time it's not gonna be easy. Maybe you and your little friend should just give up now and go play with some of my old baby toys. Oh, you are gonna get it. Let's try uh, going west to do that thing. Maybe that'll help. Let's try that. Let's see what it is right now. It might already be set for me. Oh, sweet, it worked. No, you idiot! Oops! Uh -huh. Okay, let's try this. No, oh, it's gotta be that one. No way to stop it either. Ah! Oh no, it seems the commands weren't in the right order. Okay, try putting the commands in a different order, then run the program again. South 3, or South 2, North 2. Okay, run it now. Bada boom, bada bing, I got it. Terrific! Polly has nothing over you. Damn right. Just put the clue in the inventory and let's beat a path out of this place. No doubt about it, there's a clue in the observatory. One clue down, one to go. Be right back for more. Okay, guys, let's hit the observatory. I sense that Polly's launched another one of the mission clues into space. Get ready for a fun-packed thrill ride to the bottomless pit. Man, she just loves the stuff. Why, if I was her father, mm, just click on the telescope and I'll help you save the world. <laughs> We've got to get the transmission out of the black hole's clutches, otherwise we won't get Polly's hint. Six radio packets big. Looks like a shower of comets is approaching. Fantastic! You destroy an asteroid. Comet hit. A shield is destroyed. Fantastic! You destroy an asteroid. We got another radio wave packet. Great! Wow! That asteroid is obliterated. Whoa! You turned away from the comet just in time. Wow! Wait a 
a maneuver. You got another radio wave pack. Nice shooting. You got a radio packet. All right. You got all the radio packets. Now we can decode Polly's hint. We're back at the alien decoder. Once again, it's all scrambled. Obviously, she's doing that on purpose. Click and drag... I couldn't make any sense out of that, but you managed to find a real sentence. Great! Love that I carry is powerful. Hey, you made quick sense out of that messy sentence. But wait, there's more to be done. Quick sense out of that messy sentence. Not done yet. There's more to figure out. Way to go! You nailed the code! I am a handsome hunter. Way to go! The hint is unscrambled. Now we just have to go to the star chart and figure out where in the universe she sent our clue. On any of the con Hercules stands in the night sky. Lyra looks like a small harp. Cygnus is a swan who Andromeda was almost killed by a sea monster. Ares looks like a power Pisces. Pegasus is the wind. Draco is the way to go. Click on any of the constellations, and this machine will tell you a little... Nothing happened. I don't think that's the right constellation. Try again. Karina represents the keel of Jason's ship, the Argo. Without a keel, a ship, Grus, is... Aquarius means... Cetus is a sea monster. Pupus represents the stern, or... Centaurus is named after the mythical beast called Centaur. Scorpio is the shape Sagittarius represents Chiron, the king of the centaurs. See you somewhere, guys. There Orion, it is. the hunter. Hear that? You must be right. And here comes the spaceship. Contact! Shut down! Wow, that was wicked. Just put the clue into the inventory and let's get out of here. The future awaits. Indeed, we'll do that in just a second. <clears throat> All right, let's grab the glue and get out of here. We've got everything we need. Take a deep breath and click on the time machine door back there. Not just yet. Gotta make this a little longer. We longer. should go to the time machine. To the kitchen. Of course, the door is still locked, but you'll have no trouble getting the combination. I'm so glad you're here. My blood sugar's dropping. <laughs> oh, more. Be ten. You added the numbers correctly, but the result is too big to fit on one tile. So we need to carry the extra amount to the next column. Now the extra amount in the ones place has been carried over to the tens place. Thank you. Hey, look at that! One thousand nine hundred ninety-nine points. Got the first lock. Two more to go. That's funny. Sixty-six. Or, or no, no, seventy-six. Alright, you got two locks. Just one more. Fifteen. I can You multiplied the numbers correctly, but the result is too big to fit on one tile. So we need to carry the extra amount to the next column. Thank you. Now the extra amount in the ones place 
has been carried over to the Tens place. Nope, that's not right. You multiplied the numbers correctly, but the result is too big to fit on one tile. So, we need to carry the extra amount to the next column. There we go. We're good! You did it! <coughs> I knew Polly couldn't keep us out. We're in the kitchen again, and you know what that means. Robot Let's get our galoshes and start shoving the like Mort is mighty hungry. Okay, if we can just feed Mort and keep him happy, we'll be one step closer to saving the world. Click on the feeding machine to begin. All right, we'll do that in just a second. Okay, now it is feeding time for more. That is. Chow time, and Mort's ready to munch. What's your pleasure, Mort? Hmm. You know what sounds good? A little bit of refreshing fruit salad. And could you please add a little gold bouillon? Motor oil, some heavy springs, and maple syrup. <laughs> Good thing you have a cast iron stomach, Mort. Hmm. Now click on the on off switch in front of the feeding machine, as and I'll crank this baby into gear. Bon appetit! 15. Yeah, Fifteen thousand molecules. Three or five that. Alright, boom, bada bing, that's done. The gold bullion is applied. Oh, they don't want strawberries. To measure any of the toppings, click on one of the instruments on the back wall, then click on the topping you want to add. Finally, click on the bowl to add the measured ingredient. If you put the wrong amount or the wrong stuff in the bowl, you can empty it by turning off the machine and starting all over. Motor oil. Fifteen and two and then two oh five. There's that. Perfect. Four hundred fifty milliliters. Four or four thousand. Bada bada bing, we got them all. Enjoy your fruit salad, sir. Bravo! Thank you. You truly are a master chef. All right, you've won, and now maybe he'll shut up. <laughs> Thank you so much, and please. This is for you. All right. Take the invention points and put them in your inventory. Then on to complete this mission. We've got everything we need to complete this mission. And since time is of the utmost importance, let's get to the time machine immediately. All right. We'll be doing that in just a second. 
Normally I head straight for the time machine, but we're gonna hit the generator first. No problem, I got this. Times two is four. Four times four is sixteen, or eight times two. Five times two being ten. And three times three being nine. Wow! One ring down, one more to go! Two times one is two. And then two being twenty. And then one being five. Eight times one being eight. <laughs> two times one being three. Times two being six, and six and two being twelve. Great job! Now hold on! Power boost! Now back to saving the world. We've got everything Indeed. we need to complete this mission. Be right mission. back for that. And since time is of the utmost importance, let's get to the time machine immediately. Be right back for that, guys. Okay, guys. Let's head to the time machine. We should go to the time machine to complete this mission. Even if it means this will be a lesser episode than the last one, it's okay. It don't have to be long enough. Hope you're ready for more adventure because we're ready to get into the time machine. Just click on the door and back. Let's go. Okay, we've made it to the mission control again, and the time machine is waiting for our input. To complete the mission, let's head over to the Wheel of Invention and quick. Right. To the wheel. Time to finish up another mission. Click the on button to start the wheel. Welcome to the world's most dangerous game show, Hollywood Squares. Your mission today is to save Boosterbot, or risk changing the world as we know it. Your <laughs> first clue is a drum. The drum will lead you to what your mission is about. In many parts of Africa, there are talking drums because drummers can reproduce in drum beats the actual words of their language. Even if you separate drummers by 20 miles, they can still hold a conversation. What kind of instrument is a drum? A percussion instrument. You got the beat. <laughs> percussion instruments make noise when you beat or shake them. Which percussion instrument makes noise when you shake it? Maracas. Olé! Maracas olé, are olé, hollow olé, cores olé, with seeds olé, or pebbles inside. Olé. You play maracas by shaking them to the beat. Maracas are made for shaking. Which invention was called a bone shaker, even though it wasn't made for shaking? 2,999 points. That's kind of funny. Yes! The first bicycles had heavy wooden frames and iron tires. They shook so much when you rode them that people called them bone shakers. You can call the bicycle the subject of your mission. Hey, I'm psyched. It'll be cool to see what the first bike looked like. Your second clue is a pair of blue jeans. The blue jeans will tell you where the bicycle was invented. 
Blue jeans were first created back in the 1850s, the days of the California gold rush. The gold miners' work was so difficult, they needed pants that could last a long time without wearing out. The world's first jeans were made from brown canvas. What are blue jeans made from today? No, did someone say Holly? <laughs> Good! Blue jeans are made by the tough cotton cloth named denim. A dye gives denim its blue color. Denim was so popular, the inventor of blue jeans became a millionaire. Who invented blue jeans? No! Sylvester Graham invented the Graham cracker. No! Karl Kapik was a Czechoslovakian writer who invented the word robot. Excellent! Levi Strauss came to California in Didn't search of gold, those. and he found a gold mine in making jeans. Levi Strauss was a United States immigrant. Where did he come from? That's right! Levi Strauss came to California from Germany. That's what makes him an immigrant. Germany is in the middle of Europe. The car was invented in Germany, and so was the bicycle. Interesting. You ace those questions. Now we need to find out who invented bikes. And where? Your third clue is a pretzel. The pretzel will tell you who invented the bicycle. Making pretzels is hard work. First, you boil the dough. Then, you glaze it with egg and salt it. Finally, you stick it in the oven to bake. Pretzels were first made in Germany and are shaped to look like what? Okay, we'll be back to continue in just a second. Okay, we're back and ready to continue our um, wheel times. <laughs> That's right! You make a pretzel by tying a rope of dough into a loose knot before baking. Which of the following is not tied by a knot? No, try again. There's just no stopping you. Brake <laughs> shoes are not shoes you wear. They're brake pads that stop your bicycle wheels from turning. The first bicycle, however, didn't have any brakes. What German inventor made the first bicycle without brakes? Good guess! Karl von Dreis invented a two-wheeled vehicle called a Dreisin. Not only didn't it have brakes, it didn't have pedals either. You made it go by pushing on the ground one leg after another. So Carl Von Dres invented an early version of the bicycle. Goodness knows what he's gonna think when Boosterbot shows up. Yeah, really. Your fourth clue is a pair of roller skates. The roller skates will take you to when the bicycle was invented. Roller skates were first invented when someone put wheels on a pair of shoes. Where would you most likely see people roller skating? Rick. Yes! Rinks are round or oval-shaped arenas with smooth surfaces for roller skating, or ice for ice skating. Which of the following would not occur in a rink? Good! A pedal is a lever that you press with your foot. Cars have pedals. So do pianos. The first bicycle with pedals was invented in 1839, 23 years after the bicycle was first invented. When was the bicycle first invented? 1816. Bike-o-rama! <laughs> the first bicycle called a Dracene was invented in 1816, a good 23 years before pedals were invented. Now you know the year when your mission will take place. Looking good. We now have the whole shebang. Carl von Dres invented the bicycle in Germany in 1816. Goodness knows what Boosterbot's doing to the world's first bike. 
Let's find out before history gets a flat tire. Amen to that. We'll do it in just a second. Okay, my termination. Let's go fix another screw up. <laughs> See you later, Monty. Fasten your seatbelt and click on me when you're ready to go. Can you imagine a world without bicycles? Well, we're off to Germany to find Carl von Drees as he tests the world's first bicycle. Can't wait to see how Booster Bot fucks out. Uh-oh. Booster Bot's got jet engines in his hands. You don't suppose he's gonna try and... Nah. Yeah! Booster Bot's about to launch poor Carl von Drees right into the stratosphere. Hit that recall button before the inventor of the bike becomes a shooting star! Yeah, that's the last thing we need. Phew! Maybe the rockets weren't such a bad idea. What good's a bike before the invention of pedals? Now hold yeah, really. on while I steer this contraption back! Phew! We made it back! Always a good sign. Press the back button on... At the robot roost, and we've added another robot to the collection. We're running out of space, it's meaning we're almost done with this game. Which is sad because this is one of my favorites. Hmm, another robot safe at home. I bet you think you're the smartest little robot in the world now, don't you, Gutley? Well, you're not as smart as I am, and I'm gonna make the next mission so tough you'll beg to be taken to the scrap heap. Oh boy. Let's take a look at that Transquizzer and select another mission. Click on the inventory. And we'll do that in the next episode, guys. So till next time, this is your boy Charm City going to sign out. Remember, if you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the Charmin Nation today. Peace out, guys.